Make sure to share this video with your family and friends, like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified for all my dad's new videos. My social media will be tagged down below so you can follow it and just remember, Jesus loves you. Hi guys, uh, just to let you know we've got a new, brand new website, uh, drcharlieward.com where all our videos will be loaded over the next few weeks and you'll be able to view all of those um, without, there's no charge for watching any of those. We've moved them all onto our own platform because all the doctor ones, which are very, very important, um, have been taken down, but it's, so we've now got control over those, but every single video we post will be free to watch. That's very important for you to know. The other thing is, is we're getting a lot of, an awful lot of people asking us about gold and silver. And I've always been an advocate of gold and silver and, um, myself i'm not in a position to give financial advice i'm not qualified to do so i'm just going to tell you what i've personally done i've personally bought gold and silver and i've used a company that uh, i trust um which is shown below here um they've always looked after me well and if you order from them uh, more than 250 pounds worth um you get a free one ounce silver coin which is very very nice it's a nice little nice little gift but uh, this is not an endorsement this is just what i have done personally and it's up to you it's your choice as i said i'm not qualified to give the advice uh, on financial advice but it's just what i have done personally and i hope you enjoy it and i hope you enjoy watching all of my videos thank you hi guys well today we've got bryce and tom uh with, with us Hi, Bryce. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. It's amazing. Hey, what an amazing time to be alive. Yes. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Bryce. Good to see you both. All right, Good Tom. To you, Tom. We were just catching up with Bryce just now about um, finding some missing people, weren't we, Bryce? Yeah. Well, Tom and I, well, actually more Tom, you know, the, the beautiful part of this journey is so many things, things kind of happen accidentally, but they're not really accidental. Last minute on Saturday, we did a show together, and in real time, Tom decoded Checkmate Atlanta, Tyler Perry Studios, and I'll let you go on, go on from there, Tom, because you're the one that figured it all out. Well, thanks, Bryce. I mean, you were, you were helping me. You prompted me. So, uh, but yeah, so we did um, the whole thing of uh, around Washington is that, is that fence, and it's, it's by a company or, a, you know, a supplier called checkmate and i've looked at the numbers on checkmate and that comes to 69 and it made me think of texas because texas is 69 um but also as you've just mentioned we discovered at the weekend that atlanta where you're from comes to 69 as well so multiple comms multiple fingers being pointed and uh, georgia comes to 62 which is tesla which is queen the name Natalie, a few things. But you add them together, it comes to 131. And 131 is a big, big number in all of this because it's it's the last number. It's the number of the train at the end of Back to the Future 3 where everything changes. Um, and I've identified that as being John F. Kennedy. So John F. Kennedy comes to 131. Atlanta, Georgia, now we realize, comes to 131. Also, um, Super Bowl comes to 131, which we spoke about before. Um Gary Gensler, the new guy that's been put in, that's got, we think might affect Ripple, uh, comes to 131. Steve Bannon comes to 131. He's the one that set up the new Chinese Republic on behalf of President Trump. And out in front of the waters of, of Manhattan, you can see the uh, Statue of Liberty um, looking at the back of, of uh, New Jersey. Um, also, our dear friend uh, Jim Caviezel comes to 131. His great film, Sound of Freedom. 160 that comes to 160 which comes to first trump um also joan rivers someone showed me just recently joan rivers comes to 131 as well and she was one of president trump's uh, uh, friends um there's another one and i think i'm missing it out but uh oh mike pompeo comes to 131 but going back to 
to Georgia, Atlanta, why it's so important is because of the Tyler Perry studio. And you went, so Charlie, this was triggered by, it's great that we're talking because this was triggered by your um, message on, uh, I think it was Telegram. And it showed a zoomed in uh, satellite shot of, of DC showing the White House. And then it zoomed out and then went over to Atlanta where, where uh, Bryce is. And it zoomed in on a place called the Tyler Perry Studio, which I think used to be a fort as well, or maybe still is. Um, but you went down there today because you only you live very close and yep. you found out from first hand that there is actually a White House there, <laughs> which is so exciting, you know? We, so where, where Tyler Perry Studio is in Atlanta, it's near the airport. Um, I had no idea it was here as on Saturday. I was like, I didn't even know this was here. We have a lot of things that are yeah. shot here in Atlanta now. Hunger Games, Stranger Things, The Walking Dead. And Biden um, had done a rally at Pullman Yard, which is also in Atlanta. It's near our yoga studio um, where Tyler Perry owns that as well. It's an old cotton gin. And it was a pathetic rally. There were like five people there. But it makes sense that they're now on these properties owned by Tyler Perry. And we went down there today and we scoured the whole property trying to see through the gate. There was massive security. Cars were going in and out, which is very strange because we know that Hollywood isn't really working right now. So why are all these cars going in and out of this studio set? Um, I, as we were walking down the street, there was a hole in the fence and I saw a yard guy inside the fence working on the uh, landscape. And I just, said just yelled to him and he came over my boyfriend and I we didn't have our mask on he pulled his mask down to talk to us which says a lot right there that he knows that these are these masks are bs and he and I asked I said is is the white house replica that Tyler Perry built on this this property and he said oh yeah it's just over there <laughs> and I was like cool thanks 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 so much and I kept thinking why isn't a journalist doing this this yeah. isn't what, where are You're they? like Dale Weathers from Scream. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, another one, one, like one you just mentioned. Uh, you said Paul. That's also my cousin Paul. Cousin Paul comes to 131. So there's oh, about wow. eight or nine in, that are really important numbers. But sorry, continue. Yeah. No, but it, but it makes sense. And I, I text Tom too that Atlanta, what I, what I think, and for everybody watching, like we don't know this for sure. This is us just connecting dots from what we found. Um, I think Atlanta is going to do a boomerang, not from the last 10 years or 20 years, but because of the role that Georgia has played since the beginning of this country. Georgia was one of the original 13 colonies, um, but it was a penal colony. So it was a prisoner colony. It's where debtors were sent from England. A lot of people from Georgia have English last names. Now, for those Australians watching, that's what we have in common, because after we won our independence, you guys became the penal colony. So, but when the American Civil War happened, the, the colony or the state of Georgia, or excuse me, the American Revolution, when that happened, the, the, the state of the colony of Georgia, which was a colony then, sided with England, did not want to become, did not fought against the Patriots. Uh, my family is not originally from Georgia, we're from South Carolina, but so I don't have that, that heritage, but they fought against the Patriots. You can see that in Mel Gibson's movie, The Patriot. Um, during the American Civil War, Atlanta was burned down, completely burned down by Sherman. So there, and then it was rebuilt as it is now. We have a lot of big companies here like Coca-Cola, the CDC, um, the world's uh, CNN Center. That During the riots, the CNN Center here was, was hysterically attacked. I thought it was hysterical that CNN was attacked. <laughs> um, but um, so it's interesting to me. It's just looking at the history of this state. It's super interesting. Oh, another thing, Jekyll Island, where the federal, where they came up with the Federal Reserve scheme was Jekyll Island is off the coast of Georgia. It was a oh. private island back then. Um, you can still go and tour all the houses. They, there is a theory, I don't know if this is true, that um, JFK Jr. has been in hiding here in Georgia all these years in South Georgia. I don't know if that's true or not, but South Georgia is a very, very small town. Um, so anyway, so it's super like mind blowing to me that we figured out Checkmate is not just that the military back channel put out, isn't just the security system. It also means Atlanta. Maybe yeah. that military back channel was telling us, look at Atlanta. And us people in Atlanta, we had no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> so anyway. I've heard from many different people from many different states that the Federal Reserve buildings 
are empty. Is that the same in Georgia? Absolutely. I live a half a mile from the Federal Reserve building here in Atlanta. I could get some footage for you one day. It has been empty since March. The lights are out. There's no cars in the parking lot. And Atlanta is a driving city. I know a lot of cities, you, you use public transportation. In Atlanta, we drive. So yeah. to see an empty parking lot says a lot. So when says you consider the Federal Reserve Bank has been closed for a year mm -hmm. uh, in every state that... Uh, and why, why on earth the journalists are not pointing that out, I just don't know. And I've heard this from many, many people, but for some reason the journalists are ignoring it. Mm -hmm. I wonder why, Charlie. I wonder why. No idea. Maybe something's going on. Yeah. Maybe their own too. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Right. Bryce, do you have those photographs you took, the 17 and the Mahoney? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, I can email them later um, if you want to put it on your website or anything. But uh, I took a lot. There was, um, so I sent this. I thought this was great. It says Mahoney, which can I know you, that y'all have. Show, a, can you put, can you kind of put it close up to the screen? Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. So there's the Mahoney. Yeah, That's Mahoney, yeah. Here in America. Um, and that was interesting. Um, we had Lee, so it's uh, the street that um, you can't really see. It's kind of blurry, but it's Lee Street, Lee which street. is where um, yeah. Tyler Perry, right next to Tyler Perry's uh, there. So we, uh, Tom and I have done a lot on uh, the Church of Mormon. Okay. And right beside, there was a, a Latter-day Saint. one there, yeah. 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 Um, we have, let's see here. Um, so here, I showed, I showed this to Charlie earlier. But I don't know if you guys can see, there was graffiti that said, trust God. Huh. Yeah. Right across from, from Tyler Perry's studio, it said, trust God. And you got a 17, God. didn't you, as well? Yeah, right here. There was a, right on a telephone pole outside of Tyler Perry's studio. Right there. 17. There you go. And I saw, that's the second 17 I saw. There was, when we were driving by, there was an advertisement to get your oil changed. Now, most places in Atlanta, Georgia, charge about $25 to get your oil changed. This place was called, was charging $17 to get. <laughs> I mean, like, what a random number to pick, right? Um, we, it was, there was just so much. So I also, we also have the Jimmy Carter. So that was one of our presidents here. I don't know if he was dirty or not, but Jimmy, Jimmy Carter, we have his, his library here in Atlanta. So yeah, here's the Tyler Perry studio, East Point, Georgia, which is East Point is, it's kind of a rough neighborhood, um, but it looks like Tyler Perry has pretty much bought off most of it. Um, yeah. So here's a picture of the main entrance. If you guys can see, and again, I can send all of these to you guys of Tyler Perry's entrance to one of his entrances. Um, there's the fencing you see all around. So not only do they have, they have barbed wire fence as well. And then they put up other protection so you can't see in either, which is to me very strange. I know that, that they shoot videos over there, but our movies over there, but um, to yeah. have those up is, is very weird. It kind of felt a little bit like um, DC where they weren't really trying to keep people out or in or coming from coming in, but maybe from trying to get out. Had they seen I don't know. That, had anybody, any of the security guards seen the body double? Well, I, I told Tom if, if I had asked, I didn't think that if I had gotten to the security guard, I'd have been like, so is the actor playing Biden here? Have you seen him? Exactly. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, it's very close to the airport. And so I wonder, are there tunnels from Tyler yeah. Perry studio to the airport? You could kind of see the airport in the distance. The, in, the Atlanta airport, International Airport is one of the busiest airports in the world because Delta hubs through Atlanta. So okay. if you're coming in internationally, you might come in through Atlanta if you're trying to get to the other side of, of America or of, of the state. So um, I, I, I'm I going to be talking to Janine soon, and I was going to ask her to look into her cards to tell us if we need to leave Atlanta because I don't Atlanta's b burned down once before. I don't know if we want to be stuck here mm. again. So um, in my, uh, we talked about March Madness, which I think is a basketball term. Uh, yep. This weekend, there was a huge basketball tournament here in Atlanta. Um, which is interesting because we're in March. So um, yes, and my boyfriend was looking at some of the footage of Biden. And Atlanta is about nine, it would take me about nine hours to drive to Washington, D.C., but our weather is very different. It's, we don't get much snow here at, at, at all, really, in Atlanta. And um, if you look at the, out the window, besides the fact that there are cars in the background of, of the Oval Office, because that's safe, um, you can kind of see outside that it, it's not, it doesn't sometimes look like it's winter right? As it would be now in DC. So was this filmed here in Atlanta? Because that looks like what it would look like. Yep. Here in Atlanta. 
Yeah, exactly. It, 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 they even mentioned that it might snow here. We shut down because we were not equipped for snow. We're called Hot Lana. That's one of our, our nicknames. So it hot. Yeah. Yeah. it's hot here. So if you if you guys watch Biden in the in the Oval Office, look outside the window. Does that mm -hmm. look like Washington D.C.? No. Does that look like a winter's day? Sure. You know, critical thinking. Here we go. That looks like Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, so. there's, yeah. There's a lot. All the information's out there, and when you know, yeah. um, it was like the one particular film shot of him, uh, of Biden doing signing something off, and Trump walked past the window, <laughs> and, and that most people fell in love with that because it, it was it was almost like this is a movie, movie, and I, I'm the director. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Charlie, when you got the clip and you put it on your Telegram, did you? Who? who how did you come across that? Was it just sent to you, or? Yeah, Lee, Lee, um, Lee was in charge. Lee found it. Yeah. Okay. Because that was that was what that's what triggered us talking about it on Saturday evening, and then we found out the numbers corresponded, and and then Bryce went down there today. Um, amazing. Have you heard any other specific things in regards to Atlanta? I know we've spoken. You know, Florida and Texas are pretty hot hot spots for for the new things. Um, not that I can talk about. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of things like before you came on air just now, I took a very private call from uh, the, the top people. Um, yeah. Just basically saying, just keep keep it, everybody calm at the moment and just keep sturm about certain things. There's a lot going on right now. It's highly sensitive and it seems like they're listening to everything I'm saying. Um, so we just okay. at the moment, I'm quite happy just to keep um keep relaxed i know the destination um i just yeah. don't know what route they're going to take and i'm just i'm very very relaxed about it right now yeah it made us almost giddy when we were driving around tyler studios because it's like when you see it you see it you know yeah. and i was talking with you tom last night about when we found out there was a second white house here in atlanta and we were like well, how many white houses are there yeah. <laughs> it's like the matrix is crumbling the matrix yeah. is crumbling we see it now for what it is and when you see, it's kind of humorous. When you're like, this is, this is all an illusion. You said yeah. earlier, you said earlier about the fact that anybody, anybody that thinks what you see on television now, uh, uh, right now is Joe Biden. If you really think it is, it was, is the same person that was alive two years ago, um, I feel, I feel gr deeply sorry for you because you, you not only need to go and get your eyes tested, you need to go and see a brain surgeon. Mm -hmm. See if he can establish if there's a brain cell in there at all. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's embarrassing how in the face it is. And yet people go, no, no, that's him. It's a bit like, the, it's a bit like Queen Elizabeth, you know, the, the videos of her at the moment are nothing like her. Um, and Prince Charles is even worse. I mean, but people go, no, that's him. Did you see you go, Harry from Oprah's interview? I didn't see the, the interview, but somebody did a close up on his teeth. And they were like, that's not, it, it was like that's one was That's right. They're like, why would the prince have a chipped tooth on an Oprah interview? Exactly. You know, like, like, put, like, really? Like, this yeah. is, come on, people, wake up. This is, this is all an illusion. It's she all looks illusion. like, she looked like she had a brace on, didn't she, Oprah, under her boots? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that would be fitting. Yeah. <laughs> I think they fitted it quite well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll all become very, very clear, but uh, those who can see it can see it. And I've likened it so many times to that, that you know, the, the book that you get as a child to spot the difference. Mm -hmm. When you first look at it, you can't see any difference. But after a few minutes, you can see everything and you can't unsee it anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's where we're at right now. We can't unsee what we know. Yeah, it, you can't. There's no going back. It's absolutely... No, and and you know we we've lost friends. I know we all have lost friends. People think we're just crazy, and they they get so triggered by the potency of what's happening. But yeah. you know, it's this is this is this is the apocalypse. This is the lifting of the veil. This is when we get to move into a different timeline. That's that's beautiful and and awesome. And you know, our ancestors would be jealous of what we're living through. And and oh, this is amazing. Okay. And um, and I love when Tom taught me seventy six meant ripple, and seventeen seventy six was the American Revolution, and I feel like that was a a, a domino where it was pushed over to free all of humanity. Eventually, it took many many hundreds of years later, but here we are. And wow, what what an amazing opportunity where you two can drive down the Tyler Perry studio and talk to the yard man about the fact that the White House is just over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So, I think, yeah, I think we need to go back and find him and ask him a few more questions. Well, so, I, I actually, I told Tom I'm going to call down there, and I, my boyfriend has a friend who who knows somebody at the Atlanta Journal Constitution, so I'm going to try to get in touch with them and see if I can possibly get more information. Um, if the press won't do it, we will. Exactly, it'd be quite nice to to get a, buy a little drone and take a video. <laughs> My, I told Tom my boyfriend had the idea of I should just like put my phone on video and throw it in the air and see if it'll catch anything. Yeah. Down. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a, if there's a will, there's a way. For yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Totally I'm sure you'll. I'm sure you'll be able to do it for sure. But yeah. it's, isn't it incredible though that we've known each other for the last few months, been doing episodes together, and then the synchronicities. It was like I saw Charlie's post. And then we brought it up in the second part of our episode. We connected the dots. We connected the numbers. And because I actually thought it was, when I first looked at the video, I didn't realize it was Atlanta. I just thought it was like, oh, is it, are they showing the one in California? Or I thought well, maybe it's gone to Texas or something. And then it was Atlanta. And it's like, that's where you are. Oh, I'm eight miles away. I mean, of all the, you know, yeah, a 20 of all minute the gen joints in all the world, you happen to walk into their one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got, I was that, that night, I like was literally shaking all night and I, I kept telling Todd, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, Atlanta's on the board. Oh my God. Like it, we know Atlanta's a city that there's lots of stuff happening, but it's on the board. Like yeah. we, Hugh told us this checkmate. Yeah. Tyler Perry studio. There it is. Boom. Yeah. It's, it's a full white house and there is a parking lot behind the white house. If you okay. look on the map. <laughs> so, so, they, so they They've got a replica there as well as Castle Rock Studios in Hollywood as well. So mm -hmm. they've got a number of them that, that they can use. Um, yeah. but, uh, but one thing that we've that you established as well that nobody nobody's been inside the in the White House in Washington, DC. In fact, right. I think if you go on the website, it tells you the White House is permanently closed. That's what it does tell you. I saw that Google took it down, took down the Google the minute we published it a few months ago, they, they took it off the map. <laughs> they are fighting a losing battle aren't they aren't they just aren't they just <laughs> quite comical bless yeah. their hearts <laughs> well it's that that's absolutely brilliant thanks for that well thank you so much for having us on it's i will a, keep you guys abreast i will yeah, keep definitely figure it out but definitely that kind of information when you're on on the spot is brilliant for us because we're getting first-hand information that we know is 100 real because you've been down and you've seen it yourself yeah and I can, I sent some of the pictures to Tom and Tom, if you want to send them to Charlie, if, if, if you guys want to see these pictures or post sure. them in here, I'm told that's totally fine. Post away. Trust right. God. Thank you very much indeed, thank Tom. You. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you, Charlie. Always a pleasure. See you and soon. you too. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, Bryce. Take Bye. care. God bless everyone.